uh, you know, uh, about schools, obviously, the class of 2021 and the challenges they face. Takunda Katawa, the head boy of Bryanston High School, and Olivia Key, who's a counsellor at uh, the school. Talking about challenges they face, Takunda and Olivia, uh, good morning to you if you can hear me. And if you can, I hope that uh, you've both unmuted your audio so that we can hear you as uh, you answer these questions. But let me start with you, Takunda, and just ask you about the challenges you've personally experienced uh, as a matriculant this year. Um, morning, Tumelo. Well, I think the challenges that I faced, especially during online schooling, was um, avoiding being distracted because obviously we didn't have teachers watching over us and, um, you know, you could receive a notification on your phone and it's, it's kind of difficult to just avoid it and keep focused in the class. So I think... That was the, that has been one of the big challenges that I faced, especially during. Lockdown. Yeah, I suppose lack of support, sufficient support that you would have needed um, in matric. And Olivia, I mean, just in terms of, uh, I suppose, the counselling and just the the, the 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 support that learners needed. What went into it? And did you see a lot of them asking for help? Uh, perhaps even saying they can't cope this year. Um, well, one thing is that um, the grade eights of this year um, obviously spent most of their grade seven year online. So they found it very difficult, like even more so than they usually would from that transition from grade seven to eight. And so we often found that like with um, one thing that was really sad because of COVID is that we didn't really get to do um, our war cries and spirit practices that usually bring our school together and like help the grade eights feel more comfortable. We didn't manage to do that um, throughout the entire year. So we felt like we didn't probably have the, the strongest relationship with our grade eights that usually the matrix would have had with their grade eights if COVID wasn't a thing. Right. And with that being said, I mean, let's talk about final exams. Maybe, Takunda, let me ask you this. Are you ready for the final exams? I mean, what amount of prep work uh, did you have to put in? And, and do you feel ready? Uh, I think it's definitely been a challenge, you know. But uh, the teachers have been extremely helpful. And the use of online platforms such as Microsoft Teams have been extremely helpful because teachers were able to upload lessons and extra resources, which right now I'm finding really helpful because I can refer back to things that were learned in January. And yeah, it's been really helpful. Yeah. And I know that, you know, it's, 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 it's online team, I mean, uh, Microsoft Teams, so in online learning, which could be of better support if you do have access to the resources. Uh, some learners may be not being privileged enough to even have access to, you know, resources such as a laptop or even Wi-Fi in their home. And I suppose, Olivia, I mean, back in my days, we had human interaction when studying, study groups. Uh, we could come together on a Saturday and try and practice some maths. Um, did you see any challenges with, uh, you know, uh, learners, just everyone adapting to the new norm of everything now going virtual do you think um one thing i think that about online learning is that we kind of forgot about our school environments and what it was like to interact with our peers and be at school on a day-to-day -day basis especially especially since our grade 11 year was majority online and we missed out on like our grade 11 camp which often like solidates us as a group and so i often feel that like perhaps our grade would know each other better at this mm. stage, like closer to the end of our high school career than without COVID and us actually having that time to bond together. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we speak to a lot of experts as well about these issues and challenges that you, you face right now as matriculants, but we want to hear from you um, as the class of 2021. I suppose both of you can answer, Olivia and Takunda. Uh, what would you like to see happen so that, you know, uh, matriculants, or even from grade eight all the way to matric, actually, uh, you know, all pupils are better supported. Um, let's say, you know, forbid that this has to continue into a fourth, fifth wave into the next year or, or two. Um, how do you think schools, teachers, and even learners can better uh, support one another to ensure that, you know, everyone does well, do you think? Takunda, you may start. I think, um, like I previously said, um, the online learning could be extremely helpful. Obviously, um, I think it will be an excellent idea to integrate this into our current education system and give more learners access to these platforms because they are extremely helpful. So I think that 
could be a start. And then I think just because if you are doing school online, you lose like connections with people. And I think a good thing would just be for, you know, for teachers to just send little messages to their classes, mm. you know, offer support, tell the students that they are there for them and they are here to support them. And I think yeah. that would be extremely helpful. Absolutely. For you, Olivia? Um, one thing I think is vital during the time of COVID is a mental health um, within students, teachers, people who don't have that day-to-day -day communication that they're usually used to. And I think it's important for schools in our country to open up that conversation about mental health and how, especially during these times, anxiety and depression are so prevalent among young people because we are so uncertain about our futures and it's scary living during a pandemic. So I just think that maybe opening, opening dialogues and communication channels to talk about those feelings of anxiety and sadness or even loneliness would really be beneficial to the students coming into high school and being in high school during COVID-19. Very important points you make there. Well, thank you both for joining me. Takunda Katawa, the head boy of Bryanston High School, and uh, Olivia Key, who's also a counsellor at the school. Thank you so much for your time this morning.